everyone, it's Emily and welcome back to Living Plantfully. So it is finally time for another episode of The Vegan Recon, episode number eight of The Vegan Recon. And for all of my new subscribers, The Vegan Recon is a series on my channel where I share with you guys Puerto Rican dishes that I grew up eating but veganized. So for today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a recipe that I've been dying to share with you guys, and that is tembleque. Tembleque is a coconut pudding that is super typical in Puerto Rico. They make it all the time. It's pretty much made the same throughout. I don't think I've ever met a Puerto Rican that doesn't make it this way. And what is great about this recipe is that it's actually naturally vegan. Like it's, I didn't have to really change anything about it. This is my mom's recipe and it's naturally vegan, so that is freaking awesome. So before we get into the actual recipe, I wanted to kind of do a little game with you guys and see if my like living plantfully OGs can come through and figure this one out. So there is something different about like my little setup in the background here. It is one thing in particular that has been something ever since the beginning and now it's something different. So take a good look. In the background see if you can kind of like guess what it is if you know what it is and you can see what it is make sure that you comment right now letting me know and if you don't know or if you do know and you want to see if you're right make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video and I will let you guys know what that little switch up is but without any further ado let's get into the recipe like I mentioned tembleque is a super easy dessert to make it is super creamy delicious just incredible it literally has five ingredients in it well four in the actual tembleque and then five including like something that you put on top so this recipe is just super easy i'm gonna get right to it so for our tembleque i'm gonna be mixing everything in my high speed blender but you can totally make it in a regular blender or you can just mix it all in your pot i just like mixing it in my blender that way everything gets nice and incorporated so the first thing that i'm going to add into our blender is some full fat coconut milk and then to that i'm going to add some cornstarch next i'm going to add in some granulated cane sugar and lastly a little bit of salt so once we have everything in our blender, I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid on there. And then you just basically want to blend this up around a medium speed until everything is nice and incorporated. All right, so everything is nice and blended up perfectly. It looks so smooth. Let's go ahead and transfer our mixture into my saucepan, which I have set at about a medium heat right now. So very gently, just go ahead and pour that into there. So now using a whisk, I'm just gonna continually mix this up, whisk this around until the mixture has thickened up. The thickening process is going to happen quite fast as you are going to notice so make sure that you have your mold on standby like really close by because again this is going to go really fast so i just have this little silicone mold it's kind of like a little bunt shape it has like some fun designs on it my mom always put hers in something similar to this so that's why i'm using this but you can totally do it in like little shooter cups in like pretty much any mold you're definitely going to notice it right away thickening up so again as long as we have it around medium high you don't want it to thicken up too too fast because then it will not set properly in our nice little mold it'll kind of be all lumpy and stuff all right so this is the texture that we want it to be right here do you see that that is the perfect thickness that we want it to be at all right and now I'm just going to transfer our mixture into my little silicone mold So we have our coconut pudding mix in our nice little mold or cups or whatever you're using it in, right? So we're gonna go ahead and refrigerate this for 
overnight preferably but you can get away with a few hours so i put mine on this little cookie sheet that way it's nice and stable in my refrigerator and yeah i'm just gonna let it sit in there until it is nice and firm all the way through so i will see you guys in a few okay so it is much 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 later in the day <laughs> And I had this baby in the refrigerator, in the freezer for, I think it was like five hours, six hours maybe. Just leave it overnight, guys. Just, just be safe. So your tembleque should be firm to the touch, just like this. And it should pull away from the silicone very easily. I also folded down the sides of my mold because it was a little bit tall. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take it off of my little tray here. And then I'm just going to put it on this little fancy plate. We want to flip it upside down and hope that it falls onto here perfectly. So I'm just going to flip it just like that. All right, so there it is. Oh my goodness. The last thing that we're going to want to do is garnish our tembleque with some ground cinnamon. So just very lightly. Just want to put a little bit on the top. Oh yeah. Oh, the smell. It smells really good. Now I'm just gonna take a little slice of this baby. Just basically slice it like you would a cake, right? Just like that. It's very jiggly, which is why this is called tembleque. Because <laughs> it's like super jiggly. All right guys, and there you have my recipe for traditional Puerto Rican tembleque, and in English, it's pretty much coconut pudding. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that this is in front of me right now. It has been forever since I had a slice of some tembleque. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in because this, oh my goodness, it's so like creamy. Mm. Yes, you guys, the creaminess of this is out of this world. It is so creamy. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You have to put the cinnamon on top. It just takes it to a whole new level. It's so good. Mm. This would be like a perfect thing to have like on Easter. And then you can maybe use like some spirulina powder or something like that to dye it like different colors and you can do like little shooters or like little egg shapes or something like that. That would be so cute. Mm. That is so freaking good, guys. Mm. That is my recipe for today. Before I close out the video, I wanna give you guys the answer to what is different in my little setup. If you have not guessed it, it is dun -dun -dun, the Hot For Food cookbook. So. If you are a Living Plantfully OG, then you know that usually I have the Thug Kitchen vegan cookbook here, which is still one of my favorite cookbooks, okay? But I just received the Hot For Food cookbook this week and I was so excited. So I had to put it on display there. If you have not bought this book, you have to freaking check it out. Lauren is amazing, Hot For Food is amazing, the recipes are incredible. So if you have not checked this book out, you need to go get it, okay? So yeah, that's gonna be there from now on on my videos. So I really hope that you guys like this recipe, episode number eight of The Vegan Recon. It is so crazy, we're already on episode eight. If you like this video and this recipe, go ahead and give it a thumbs up right down there. And as always, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I publish every single Wednesday, so be sure to click the notification bell so that way you'll know exactly when that goes up. And yeah, guys, I don't really have anything else to say, but um, make this, okay? And buen provecho if you do make it because this stuff is bomb. All right, I will see you guys next week. Bye.